Know you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend Good morning everybody. Hello, this is Rhonda Marlene. I'm back here talking about things of life and that and such and doing my makeup. And welcome, welcome to my Salon of Beauty. If this is your first time here, I welcome you with open arms. Come in, sit down, have a chat, drink some coffee with me, and just hang out for a while. Um, you know, someone has been on my mind for the longest time, and that is my best friend from uh, teenage years when I lived in Oklahoma, and um, we just hung out every day. We were the best of friends. She was like a sister to me, and her name was Sissy. I'll just call her Sissy. I mean, that was her nickname. Her real name was something else. But um, it was the time of, oh gosh, I, I think I knew her for a, a long time because she was my sister's best friend as well. And um, But I started hanging out with the both of them probably around the time I was 14, maybe a little younger. Uh, it was 1970. Six, I think the first year I started hanging out with her because I remember I was in home ec that year Anyway, I we hung out, you know for the remainder of the time I lived in Oklahoma and The last day I lived in Oklahoma was so sad or you know, we were packed up and ready to go and I was in Sissy's car and we were saying goodbye and I was so um, emotional and I was asking her how am I ever going to make a better friend than you? How am I ever going to make friends? I, I can't talk to people. And, you know, I shared everything with this girl. Um, she knew, she was the only one, I think, that knew about my ability and my gifts. And um, I remember I left my journal in that car when I said goodbye, my, my first journal that I wrote, and had all my secrets of, of what I was going through and you know why I quit school and just everything she knew everything and so I was real emotional and telling her I'll never meet anyone that'll understand me the way you do and she said <laughs> it's real easy to make friends uh, Nani and she called me Nani um, all you do is if you see someone that's you know your age and 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 not scary looking that you want to be friends with just uh, a test is to go up and and you know have a cigarette in your hand because we were smokers back then and ask them if they have a light and if they give you a light that's your door in to talk to them just and you can do that with anything she said um, but the cigarette was the way that we kinda communicated because of, with other people and I just was so, you know, naive when I started out in the world. And I kind of think that was, you know, going off into the world. I was going off into the world and I was going to leave my best friend. And when we moved back, my husband and I, I was so excited to see her again. And I was over at my sister's house, you know, because we had gone back to stay with her. And she came over, Sissy did. And she had changed so much and I had changed so much that I don't know why and I still it's the biggest regret of my life I think if we you know this old saying if you could go back in time and change anything I think I would go back to that moment and make sure she knew how important she was to me because Sissy is no longer in this world she's on the other side all right kids let's calm down I got my babies again here today they knows. Come here, Harry. I'm going to start calling you Harry. They don't listen. They don't listen to me at all. I tried to teach them to lay down. <laughs> and I'm working on it. They'll, they'll get it eventually. So anyway, back to Sissy and the days. Um, I'm going to include some pictures of me and her. The best ones I have. Of course, there's better pictures on on the Facebook page, on my Facebook page, I think I have pictures of her that are clearer. But she used to wear her hair. It was, it was you know, during Farrah Fawcett's uh, craze where all the girls flipped their hair, you know, and curled it up. 
and this is a salon of beauty so let's just talk about that style I never wore it I always had my hair permanently permed where it was more like Bernadette Peters that's the kind of look I was going for or just straight long but she used to it was a lot hers was a lot shorter probably like my natural hair and the sides were cut of course to, to support this and I'm talking okay it was more like that you know all the way up all the way up here in the bangs was all the way flipped and I used to watch her do it with her curling iron and wonder because you know I never did that with my hair it was just um, naturally curly you know and all I had to do is get out of the shower and uh, maybe put a little bit of we didn't have, really have mousse but what was it? oh dippity do you remember dippity do <laughs> coming from my beauty sh from my grandma's beauty shop um, all those all those products that we used then you know I don't even know if they exist anymore <laughs> quite frankly anyway let's get started um, I'm, I don't have the makeup yet of that era you know the cover girl clean makeup and the I don't I don't have any blue eye well I do have that electric blue we talked about and we could do blue but I'm just gonna do my makeup the way no tricks today just straight up okay because I don't want to guesswork everything and I don't I just would rather just get started and go but um okay another thing I wanted to talk about was last night's sleeping because um, I've been opening up a lot more so I have um, more you know deep lucid dreams that I retain and almost every night of my life since my mother died I she's been in my dreams her and my dad <laughs> Sometimes my grandmother comes, but um, ugh, I don't think Sissy came last night. But it maybe she did a little bit because that's why I had her on my on my mind. Just you know, a peek in the door. But mainly, it was more of the discussion that um, because of what we talked about the school that you're in. This Earth is a school. Well, it's also a school over there. Um, for me anyway, it is. I always um, interpret interpret what I see as when I always go over there I'm going to the facility or the be the place that has uh, other students there who are also learning and maybe it's because I didn't finish school that I dream of school a lot and wish that I could have maybe that's what it is entirely however most of the time when I do dream of school it is like the other dreams that I have in a different feeling you know it just feels different it's it's clearer it's um, <coughs> vi more vivid more electrified and certain things that I'm supposed to re I'm supposed to retain glow up like uh, I'm looking at my uh, Lord of the Rings lunchbox and it's got a picture of um, Gandalf and he's glowing okay so Things I'm supposed to remember usually pop out at me and that's the way it is in life too things pop out at me road signs along the way however let's get back to the dream in the dream I was going to my classes as usual to I'm always turning in papers in my dreams um, and my classmates were there and they're familiar to me I know them they're always there the same people and it's usually the same few seconds in the beginning where I'm I'm confused and I'm I'm still you know like dreaming and then I'll dream it and I'll say hmm where's my class what am I supposed to be doing here I've forgotten my locker that kind of thing you know the typical um, oh I can't remember that word architect uh, architectural dream and then that's where it starts to change is when I start to remember the people and the places and what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. And they were all concerned about a classmate, a familiar classmate, this, this guy, this young guy. We're all young in, my, in this dream. It's all, we're all the same age. Even though uh, when I get there, I feel like I'm out of place because I'm older and I'm not the same as the kids in the surroundings the situation but then and I'm always worried that, that they're gonna find that out and they're gonna realize that I'm 40 and they're you know 20 or actually 
I think we all kind of go around the 30 sta stage when I when I fi finally realize what I'm doing, right? So, so the guy that was in the hospital was the same age, and um, and I knew who he was, and I was concerned as they were. Um, so we went to see him in this uh, medical situation where he was in 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 bed. And his family was around him, and um, personally, I wanted to go to the bedside and talk to him. I don't think he was in a coma per se, but uh, I just wanted to reassure him and tell him I was here and who I was, you know, connect. And uh, I can remember his face very vividly. I can remember his voice very vividly. And it's a person just like the students that I know quite, I wouldn't say intimately because that's not the feeling I quite got. It, it was more like, you know, on my part, I wished it was. But I wasn't sure about how he was feeling. Maybe that's what it was. And I think everyone around me knew that I had to go, you know, to him. So anyway, I go to his room and his mom is there. And, or a motherly figure, I'll put it that way. His mom is there. And, um, so, um, I begin to tell her how much I'm, I, I want him to get better. And I want, you know, her to have a happy joy joy feeling you know just just giving it trying to give her comfort and he wakes up and hears my voice and he calls out to me and I can't remember what he what name he calls out to me so I I go over and I see him and I I, I touch his hand you know that's on the bed and I say hello and I say uh, you're gonna be okay now I'm you're gonna be just fine um, go ahead and, you know, I don't know, I guess I was healing him, maybe, with my touch. And I, I, I touched his, I went, my hand went up his arm and to his shoulder, and I looked into his eyes and I said, you're fine, you're fine, you're gonna be fine. And then I had to go, and then I don't, I don't remember any more of the dream, kind of like, I know my mom was there telling me, good job, good job, um, you're doing great. You're doing great. That kind of thing. And I don't know if she meant that because of what I was doing in the dream or if I'm doing great here, you know. I kind of think both. But anyway, so that's another reassurance for me that if I can keep doing these kind of videos and keep telling you it's okay, you know, giving you emotional comfort, you know, that that's my job in life is to give others emotional comfort. And any way that I can do that by spreading my message, that you're okay. You're doing okay. We're, you're doing okay. Trust yourself. Um, trust in the beauty of life because it is beautiful. And you'll be fine. You'll just be fine. We'll all be fine. We're going to go back to um, our, our um, home. We're all going to go home together. And I would really like it if you were on my bus. Because my bus is a party bus. And I'm going to design it that way. And it's going to be glorious. And I have visions sometimes that, that Sissy... Hi! Yeah! Hey, look! What? Uh, a BB bottle with Anna. Oh! Uh. A new BB bottle with Anna. I will watch it with you. You know what? I have it on demand. So uh, we can watch it anytime. Yeah. He loves Paw Patrol. Just lives for it. Everything he buys is Paw Patrol for Christmas, birthdays, and, you know, every time I go to the store. It's, can I have a Paw Patrol, Patrol toy today? And I'm like, hmm, sure. So we go pick out a small one. He's got lots of little small ones. He got a big one for Christmas. Big, big, big boat. I saw it and I had to have it. You know, it's one of those things like, yeah, I've got to have that for my baby. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to contour today. We're going to just contour a little bit with our physician's formula. Yeah, 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 I know. I use the same makeup every day, but you know what? I'm just glad and lucky and feel blessed to have the makeup I do. I mean, I have a tremendous amount of makeup when I, um, 
you know, I talk to other people, they don't have near as much makeup as I do, and yeah, I, I have I have to use the same makeup every day, but I don't, you know, I have a little bit of leeway where I've worked it out where I can have different things, but some people doesn't, doesn't even have that yet, so if you are blessed with a Ulta account or a, a Sephora or you get Birchbox or, oh, wait a minute, this is just powder, I'm just putting on powder right now. Oh my goodness, my babies are making the noise. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. They want to be on camera too. Little show-offs. They're such show-offs. I should put them in a show, but they would not behave. <laughs> I haven't got them trained yet to... But you know what? They would be... These two babes right here would be great at agility. They know just... I put him out on his lead, on this rope. He jumped over the gate and came back in and was at the door crying. He was done. He wanted in. And Jackie, Jackie would be horrible as a agility, at agility. He's so old. He, well, his time is done. Now he, got to, now he gets to retire and live on the, well, he's not going to live on the bus with me. It would be too hard on him. He's too old. He probably won't even be here when we start out because it's still two years away. Uh, we're just taking Daisy. But. Um, yeah, he's going to stay here in his cushy little job. He's our rat detector. He detects mice in the house, and he goes and he gets them, don't you, baby? You're the rat protector. Yeah, you're always on guard. And he makes the little ones behave. I'm going to put a po I swear to God, I'm going to make a video of just the three of them and how they interact. It, it is hilarious. Okay, I'm going to have to pause here and do my um, head. I can't look in the camera. i got to look what I'm doing, actually. I just put it at my temples to kind of... I don't know why we started doing that. I mean, we never did it when we were young. But it does help. I like it. I do. I like putting on the makeup. I like the smell of it. I'm going to use... Uh, I think I'm going to use Clinique today because it's a little deeper than the... Too faced. This is also a Christmas present. I'm gonna have uh, makeup all year because of my awesome Christmas, you know, gifts. Uh, yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh. Well, I want to go back and talk about Sissy. I don't want to talk about anything else. This is Sissy's day, and it's 17 minutes in. So. What you need to know about this girl is that she was the most fun, 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 fun girl to be with. And between her and my older sister, oh my God, we, I had such a hoot. A hoot is not really the good word for it. I had such a good time with my gals. I mean, we would dress up. And not dress up with, we would wear my grandma's old wigs, you know, she had tons of them, and we'd inherit, we'd, we'd, um, ascond with them, <laughs> and some of her clothes, and some of her glasses, I mean, everything was fair game, um, at the, you know, with our play, and we dress up like old ladies with glasses, those cat eye glasses, you know, and these curly gray wigs and coat, uh, dresses down to our knee, our ankles, my goodness, that didn't sound good. Daisy! Sorry. Daisy! Daisy! She's not going to stop. Well, uh, we'd drive around and we'd go into stores and we'd talk to people and giggle afterwards when they would, uh, you know, think we were real. real Because the makeup and stuff was really good. I mean, we were really good at that back then. And... We just had the best time doing goofy things. She was so silly. And put her and my sister together. And it was like, I sat in the back seat, you know. And I, I would listen and I would just laugh and laugh and laugh. And thinking, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, I would, I don't think I dressed up as much as they did. Um, um, but I would go with them, you know, and tag, tag along or watch from the car or something. But we did a lot of crazy things. We were just wild and crazy. Um, and she had a lot of style. She she always dressed up. She wears. She was skinny. Okay, I was not. She was skinny. 
So her style, oh man, I wish I always wanted to wear her 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 clothes, but I couldn't because she would wear tape, uh, not tank tops, but tube tops, those skinny little tube tops. Oh my goodness, and jeans of course and we all wore jeans with the um, the hems cut off of them so they were be frayed i mean there there was a time that those years those end of the hippie years i think um the tail end where all of us girls would you know mimic the older girls and we wouldn't be caught dead without our hems cut off you know certain things you just had to do and you could not and that is so weird to think about now you know I'm going to use my uh, card candy matte palette, and I'm going to put this, um, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to put this dark, dark rust color on the bottom yeah. there. Huh? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to all my friends on on YouTube. Can I see? Yeah, you can look in at the camera and say hi. Hi. This is my youngest grandson. And you have a wedding at the door. Well, because they can't. They can comment. They can make comments on the bottom and say, Your grandson is adorable. Oh, no, no, don't pull that down. Don't pull that down. You'll knock it down. Hey. Hey. Uh. This is not the one that wants his gaming channel. That's his hey. brother. Yeah. And then we're going to go in I with... like to... Okay. Uh-huh. I need a darker brown, though. There's really not no dark browns in this palette. Hey! So, we're going to skip. We're going to jump into ba, the matte. Ba, 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 pen. I like that. And we're going to use matte wood. Matte wood. That's the middle one. Yeah, go ahead. We're listening. And then we're going to put it on the lid just all over. What did the dogs do? Which dog? I think, uh, no, what? I'm and then there, I'll blend in a minute to blend them uh, together. Gigi. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but do you know what I say? What? Uh, I, I don't do both hands. I like dogs. Yeah. And, and, and so now they... What kind of toys do you like, Xander? Cop cars. Cop cars, that's right. Yeah, because everybody like, like cop, right? Everybody likes cops, yeah. Yeah, everybody likes cop. Yeah, they're great people. I'm just going to blend the lines so they kind of go together. Uh, yeah, and cops up, up. help you. Yeah, right? cops help you when you're down, <coughs> when you're out. When you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. Car breaks down. <gasps> you yeah. Get a flat tire. Oh, 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 wait. Car I die, you? They help you with your tires sometimes. Uh, you know, we with the time our tire broke though, we had a tow truck come and help us, yeah. didn't we? Okay. Um, top, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the white. It's matte uh, Malloy. Hey. Malloy. Gigi. Yeah, Malloy. I can't see yeah, without my glasses. Gigi. Yes. What here? Uh, and I'll just use this fluffy brush to do Gigi, that. Am I talking to my best? I'm talking about my best friend. I was telling him about my best friend in high school when I was a girl. Stop talking. Stop talking? Yeah. Well, I should. It's 23 minutes, and I haven't got the mascara yeah, on. But, or yeah, the eyebrows. I, I, yeah, but, yeah, but I talk. I talk on the phone. I, 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 Go ahead. I'm listening. Everyone talk. that but um you know man i hey, got hey, stuff all hey. over me stop stop doing that <coughs> hand me my towel down there hand me my towel he's got stuff all over her shirt quick 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 
Hurry up, wasting time. Good job. I'm going to have to cut this video out if I knew how to do that. I'm still having trouble with the editing part of uh, the learning because the programs that I'm viewing and doing, when I go and do what they say, the, the link or the, the part that's supposed to do what they say is not working for me. It's not there. So, what is going on? Are you wearing yourselves out? I can't believe that. Just go settle down. I can't believe these four won't let me do a video. What, Daisy? Hey, hey, uh, um, you. What? Will you open the door and let these dogs out, please? Open the door and go in there and watch Paw Patrol with the boys and girl. Go on, Dad. Go with, go with Xander. I can't even remember Xander's name when I got so many names. I, my mom used to do that to us, and my grandma, nanny, nanny used to do that to me too. And I was like, "Ah, oh, can't you remember? I'm not, I'm not so and so, whatever." Um, okay, so that's gonna stay that way. I was gonna put some color in the corner of my eye, but I'm a geeky and I have to get going, so we're not gonna do that. And you know what? Forget it. We're not gonna put liner on today. You know, we're just gonna tool around here while I put liner on. But somebody asked me, do you put makeup on when you stay at home and you don't do anything? And I said, yes, I do. It sometimes takes me till noon. <laughs> but, you know, the rest of the day, I don't have to worry about it if somebody comes to the door. Or when everybody comes home. Or, I don't know, I just like to wear makeup. I don't I don't like to sit around in, in my jammies and do nothing. I, I got a schedule that I'm staying on. With my workout and my diet and my motivation. Oh, but you know what? I didn't say my devotionals today. You're supposed to say the Lord's Prayer every day for every everything that you need help with. It's the only prayer you need is what Jesus said on the mount. But, you know, I lived my life where I've studied every religion and I believe in every religion. I'm a truthist, if, it, if, if the facts be known. I'm not, I don't affiliate myself with any formed religion really I believe in Jesus Christ I believe in the Buddha I believe a lot of things you know because I know a lot of things so therefore I talk to a lot of people on the other side and quite frankly I just know what I know so I'm guided by the light I'm guided by the light that's so beautiful And the light is within all of us. There. That's it for the day. That's what I'm going to wear. Now I'm going to go take care of my babies. After I put some lipstick on, I'll wear pay my bills because it's kind of just a little bit. That's Thanos. Okay. Well, I have said my piece today. I've talked about peace. And that's all that's important is staying optimistic and positive and knowing that you're, do you're doing good. I mean, you may be having your problems and you may be going places that you don't really want to go or be. But just remember the serendipity of life. Everything happens for a reason. Everything. Even the bad things happen for a reason. And it's how you um, react to what's happening. I mean, the other day I got locked in the car when I took my dog to the vet and I was like 10 minutes late, you know, and I knew that they were going to cancel the appointment. And I was sitting out in front of the vet's office trying to get my seatbelt off and Thanos was right here and Xander was in the back and I was panicking. I really was because I'm born to panic and I must learn to, to, um, combat that. I must learn to stay calm and to stay patient. I know my sweet baby. I get so annoyed with him too. And I admit that here and I apologize. Because he's old. He's grouchy. He's in pain a lot. So he's grouchy. And he growls at me a lot. But he's such a good boy. And I have to be patient with him. And just take care of him. And so you too are in the situations that you're in. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, that I did not take. <laughs> I declined. Um, but I was talking about Jack and how patient I must be for him. 
but in the situation that I was in in the car, what I did was stay calm, and I said um, the Lord's Prayer, and I said to Xander, who was in the back seat, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And um, I should have been a little bit more calmer because I did let go and panic. But the lady that was going in beside me, I rolled down my window and I said, excuse me, um, I cannot get my seatbelt off. Could you do me a favor and go in there and tell them that, uh, you know, Thanos is outside and that we'll be in as soon as, you know, I can get my seatbelt off. Well, the nicest people in that place, I heard them, they were just so sweet and nice. Uh, the receptionist girl came, or maybe she was the assistant, but she came out and asked me if there was anything she could do. And I told her, well, you can try, but I don't think it's coming off. She came in, tried to get it off, couldn't do it. So she went back in to get more help. And then she came back out with her her pad, notepad, and wrote everything down about what Thanos, you know, ate, what he was doing, and everything, all that stuff. And she said, we'll take him in, and you can go uh, either to a car dealer and, and see if they can get it off. I said, that would be great. I'll just go to the, you know, college and get my son-in-law to help me. And sure enough, he was there. And he helped me get out of the belt, and I drove back and went in, went into the vets. And that's a whole other story. I'll tell you the vet story tomorrow, okay? Okay, but anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off here and wish you all a happy, happy day. Oh, my gosh, please have a great day. Trust, try. Just try. If you're crying, I cry too. Just know that. I cry too. I cried a little bit in the car. I'll admit it. It was like panicky. But it all worked out for the best. <laughs> and it's just a small little thing compared to other things that happen in our day-to-day -day life. Bust our heads open on the stairs and have to get 80 stitches. All kinds of crazy things that happen to us. Just know the Lord is with you. And your guiding angel is with you. And your friends from school, your friends from another life, they pop in once in a while and say, hey. They really do. Your mother and your father and your sister and your brother, all those people that have passed, they know you're safe and that they love you. They're always going to love you. You're okay. You're doing good. Bye-bye.